boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing, we've got Sam Sheedy trying to get on there. <laughs> trying to get in on height. Trying to get cat, he got a long kind of yeah, speed. You know what he's like. He misses AJ, doesn't he? Oh, that's right. Him and AJ. I thought they were getting married. I know. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Right, I'm joined by Glyn Rhodes, MBE, legendary boxer trainer and boxing manager from Sheffield, from the, what's your name called, SBC? Sheffield Boxing Centre. Sheffield Boxing Centre in Hillsborough. <laughs> How are you doing, I'm doing very, very well. I'm oh, no, excited. No. Lost some weight, as you can see. You've been on a, a walk or something. You've got a sponsor. Yeah. We went on a week to Las Vegas. Yeah. Um, yeah. Coincidentally, while we were there, Tyson Fury happened to box. Yeah. We were, thanks to John Rawlings, we got eight tickets for the fight. Free. Uh, free. Uh, and then after we met Tyson Fury in the airport, we spent time talking to all kids. And uh, I take my hat off to him. Because what you got to remember is only the night before, he Box 12 rounds and had stitches in his eye. We still spent time to uh, talk to our kids. Does his face look bad? No, it looked good. I was, I was quite shocked at how good it looked. Did he have internal stitches? Yeah, he said the surgeon did the right job on it, uh, plastic surgeon did the right job on it, and he did do a good job. You know, we've all seen fights the day after, and this was, this was a good job. This was. Is it rated is it really that his six to nine months is going to be out then? I don't, I've not heard that, but I would imagine so with that cut, definitely. Yeah. So the Fed 22nd. Going to be out I would imagine that's definitely out of the window. So we've gone from uh, so that'll be 20 to, to a month in February then since he announced the rematch for that. Like, yeah, it's, it's a long time, isn't it? Yeah, it's a long time. You say April. You said April, didn't it? Rematch 2019. So if we're going to. It's getting on a bit now. Yeah, it's going to be a long time. Isn't it? Yeah, and it's whether he can stay motivated for it, you know. But we are, from our point of view, we had a great week, a lovely week. The kids enjoyed it, and to tap it off to meet Tyson Fury, uh, it was brilliant, honest. Yeah. So basically, it could be 2020 in the wild now, then, couldn't it? If it happens. If it happens at all. That's a long time away, isn't it? People say it doesn't happen in the today. Well, what other fights is there? Oh, well, what other fights are there out there? Well, there's only Joshua for Tyson really to fight, and Wilder isn't there, maybe Ruiz. But yeah, but yeah the, Joshua will be that's all wrapped up at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. So until we know what happens with uh, Joshua rematch, you, you can't even talk about what's going to happen. And then this cut with Tyson, that's, he's going to be out a long time with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's five fight deals that we front on as well now. Oh, is it? Is it all? Oh, is it? All oh, right. Didn't know that. Anyway. Anyway, on to Tommy. Tommy Frank. Tommy Frank fighting for WBC. Yep. Yeah. Silver belt. Lovely belt. Yeah. The ranking wins. That's right. And we've been seeing the IBF last about. It's a lovely route to go down, isn't it? You know, there's been some great fighters gone down that route. Uh, you know, you can't get better than that, can you? Yeah. 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 yeah, can't get better than them names. What do you think of the setup now? I think it's brilliant. I think it's great. Look at that. It looks it looks very, very uh, it looks top draw, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. yeah. Five years, yeah, <laughs> it look, look, hey, listen, you know, you, you know what this game's like. It's like this. Yeah, listen, yeah. there's not many, not many in this game that are just plain sailing. There's always dramas and fallings and fallouts. Yeah. But we've got a great, a great little ambassador for the sport in Tommy Frank. Um, yeah. Yeah, interesting. Um, how's Tommy's camp gone? Then? We don't. You know, everybody talks these days about having camps. You know, training camp, this camp. We just train, we just train, we're in the gym, it's not a camp, it's just what we do, you know, 24-7, that's it. Mm. Uh, we just train, uh, everything's gone brilliant, we've just been at a check weight today, he's under the weight, uh, slightly under the weight, uh, his head's right, he's got a new nutritionist on board, and uh, he's in a good place at the moment. Yep. Well, that's good, I'm glad, because uh, he's a good kid to me. He's a lovely kid. 
kid, isn't he? Yeah, lovely kid. It does all right things, it does all right. It does all right things, exactly. And uh, he's uh, just at top then. Talk of the devil. Why? Why? Tommy, you know you're under. Why? Tommy, you know you're under, so why? Where have we just been, Sam? Sam, where have we just been? And so why? My idea. Maybe, maybe it's Sam's idea. Yeah. Not my idea. <laughs> right. Yeah. But, but anyway, no. it's all looking good, Glenn. It's all looking good. Tom is in good shape. He's in good shape. He's ready to rock and roll. Again, topping the bill in his hometown. You know, he, you know, on TV. On TV, you know. That's the sort of thing that you know, young young fighters dream of. You know, making the way in your own backyard. Yeah. And his opponent's just creeping up behind us now, so we better be careful. I've just met him. He's lovely. Is he a lovely kid? Yeah, yeah. Good, good. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. No Go on, and I'll see you tomorrow night. Cheers, Ross. Go on. Yes. Kane Salvin. Kane Salvin's also on the bill. Yeah, he's making his. Yeah, got two on the bill. He's unbeaten. Kane. He's all right. He's been training with Tommy all the time. Like I say, we don't do training camps. We just train. He um, he's done quite a few tickets himself. So again, got two kids on the show. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah, he's a camp punch. Yeah, he's only a baby, he's only had three fights, he's only a baby. Remember what you said to me in the first night? Go on. Fighters are somebody's baby. Exactly, I always remember that people, them guys in that ring are somebody else's babies, so look after them the way you'd expect your own babies to be looked after. Yes. Go on, Russ. See you in a bit.